Using a piece of canite sheet as a base, we glue the felt using craftwood glue and some thumbtacks to hold it in place. We trim the corners and within about 10 minutes the glue is dry. Okay, and that will work. Now to hold that in place while you're putting the glue on. Okay. In the middle and then the same on the other side. Pull the sheet firmly to make sure it's flat on the front. Now, of course, that's the one where we've got to make sure all the wrinkles are out. So just check, before check that goes off, we'll just have a look on the other side and see how flat it is. You want to turn it that way? Certainly. That looks good. Yes, you can see how the felt picks up any dirt that's left on the bench, though. Yeah, it does. So why do we use felt? Uh, felt's a very loose weave material. You can either use polyester or wool. A traditional felt is made out of rabbit pelts, actually. This. Safety glasses should be worn. Safety glasses. Those ones over there look pretty worn, so you can have those. Great, okay. good. Okay, and I wear these. That's good. And I can also see what I'm doing. Okay, so... Double pin at the corner. Uh -huh. We then place our first piece of elastic around the perimeter of the board, securing at the corners with thumbtacks. You can then trim the excess felt off the back to keep the job neat. We have it? Yes. What are we there? 920, 460. Sounds like half of 920, doesn't it? Yes, it does. We then measure and mark the position of the diagonal pieces of elastic. Sure. Yes, we, we should be able this, to just uh, make sure it's not twisted. It's not twisted if you go that way. Starting at the corners, we pin the elastic. And right on the corner. Use a few extra pins to hold it firmly in position. Beautiful. Because we're going to put a pin at each cross point, it's not necessary to stretch the elastic too tight. If you do, it can put the board under pressure and actually warp it. So just gently stretch the elastic. All right, let's have a look, make sure that it's all straight. And it is. It is. Beautiful. OK. Now we have to go... Using the, the diagonal cross pieces as a guide, yeah, we then the position the there. remaining elastic, like, passing it under the edge the piece and securing at the back. We repeat this until all of the cross pieces are in place, creating a basket weave by passing the elastic over and under each alternate cross piece. Now these little bits, we're just trimming off a bit of excess, but keep them because we're going to attach the cord, which you'll see later on with those bits. Okay, let's have a look. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Now all we've got to do is do the same thing on the other angles. Over. Is that right? Am I getting it right? Yeah, you are. Over. Okay, let's turn it over. Yeah, let's see if they're all straight. That's pretty good. 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 Now what do we do? We pin them first. Yep. And then adjust it. Once the elastic cross pieces are in position, we check that the lines are straight and place the pins at every cross piece. Then, using our cord, we tie three knots in each yeah, end. Excellent. And, using then pins and elastic these with these a bit of craft glue, we attach it so we can hang our notice uh, board to the wall. Making sure that they're roughly the same line. OK, so we just need a few Across more there. This is going to hold your notice board up. About that sort of length? Yes. You can put a little bit on the knot as well. Beautiful. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh, that's great. Fantastic. So when all the pins are straight, you can locate them permanently using a little bit of glue. Not out of the nozzle. Put it onto a stick first so you don't dirty the felt. Oh, hang on. There's a message. Ah, it's for you. Ah. Uh Aha. -huh. See you next week with some more tool tips. See you then. <laughs>